Dr. Darian Sutton is here with the answer to a question on viewers' minds. Here's the question. When is a fever a cause for concern? This is such a good question because mm -hmm. if I see my kids with a fever at mm -hmm. 100, I'm calling the dog. I'm not hesitating. Yeah. I, I run. And now that I have worked with you, <laughs> I'll be calling you. I was about to say, I'm she's calling it. you too. Yeah, I'm used to it. I'm used to it. And especially fevers. They can be very, very concerning and also scary when yeah. you have your child, especially with a high temperature. Overall, as an emergency physician, I get this question a lot, when to be concerned about a fever. Most often, there's no need for an immediate concern because my main question is, is the fever responding to things like acetaminophen or Tylenol or ibuprofen or Motrin? And if the, quench, if the answer to that question is often yes. And so that is usually relieving to me. But when the temperature goes over 104, that's when you need to talk to a provider, a bring the patient into the emergency room so that we can evaluate and make sure that there are no consequences of that. All right, your prescription for wellness. Uh, you know, as we're stepping into the holiday period this later this week, Thanksgiving, many of us getting into the kitchen, some of us for the first time this year, uh, <laughs> like me, you're going to be exposed to the possibility of burns. So my oh. tips for my prescription for wellness is how to take care of burns in the kitchen. Number one, when you get a burn, you want to cool that burn off with cool water. It doesn't have to be ice cold, but it also helps to clean the burn. Number two, after you do that, you want to apply a protective ointment. That can be something like petroleum oil or cocoa butter, just to keep it moist, keep it covered. Uh, number three, keeping it covered, protecting it uh, with dry, clean bandaging. And mm -hmm. the main thing is that you want to keep it covered and keep it away from bacteria. Bacteria. And then lastly, the most important, if you have pain, it's okay to take pain medications like ibuprofen or acetaminophen. And then my last tip on top of all of that is if you notice any redness or signs of infection, that's when you need to talk to a provider because you might need antibiotics. Mm -hmm. You know, if I burn myself, I'm out the door. I Even know. if it's a tiny little Even burn. the tiniest. <laughs> I, use my, the gloves. My <laughs> right? That's my tip. Use that the is, gloves. That you don't want to be yeah. at Thanksgiving dinner table all bandaged up. I know. How's right. the turkey? You know, <laughs> just, just be, take it easy. Pay attention take with knives. Pay attention with fire. Just keep safe as much as possible. Yes. All right, Doc, thank, thank you. Folks, we would love to hear from you. Say it us up on Instagram with all of your medical questions at ABC GMA3. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.